Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, as I have been asked to um, make a video about how to format a uh, USB thumb drive, I thought that I'd do two more that would show a complete um, cycle of things that you can do with USB thumb drives, um, when how to use them and if you don't see them. So this video is about when you use your USB thumb drive before you unplug it from the PC in Windows, you've got to actually make sure that you uh, go into the um, safely remove hardware uh, action. And it's very important because people have a tendency, and I've seen that a lot, people just unplug the USB thumb drive from Windows and that's it. And then they wonder why sometimes Windows will give them an error message that the drive needs to be checked, or they'll plug the, the, the thumb drive and, well, nothing's there. Nothing's showing up. What's happening? So um, when you use a USB thumb drive, whatever you do, copying files and so on, once you have used them, so mine here is flash drive E in my case here, once you have used them, and you have you want to unplug it from your PC, you don't just unplug in Windows. You've got to remove it, and you've got to tell Windows you're removing the USB thumb drive. So what do you do? On the bottom right in your taskbar, if it doesn't show up, it's behind a little up arrow, you'll see something that's called Safely Remove Hardware and Eject Media. When you click here, it will show you different things that it could be plugged into your USB ports. In my case, I want to eject the USB disk. So that's what I want to do here is eject the USB disk and click on it. Once that is done, if there are some lights on your USB thumb drive, you'll notice that the lights will shut off. That's because the drive is now ready to be removed. From then, you can safely remove it from your USB ports on your PC. This should be done every time you want to remove a thumb drive. And the reason is, if your thumb drive is being written on while you actually remove it, for some reason, you could actually screw up the file system. And then the drive becomes uh, unreadable. You can screw it up to a point, of course, that could be easy, that Windows is going to ask you to repair it. Then you would say yes, but sometimes the drive just disappears. And you don't know what to do because it's not there anymore. And the next video I'm going to do is how to recover a drive that seems to be dead or not showing up in Windows, but in reality is still pr properly working and working fine. So um, that's one of the ways, and it's important to uh, eject your drive and safely remove it from Windows. Um, same happens to Mac computers. Mac computers have a way to eject USB thumb drives before uh, you actually remove them from a USB port. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.